Hi everyone, it's Rich from Prestime Tier Technologies. In this next video, I'll give you a whistle stop tour of how to familiarise yourself with Microsoft Teams, particularly if it's new to you and you're using it for distance learning for the first time. So, to log into Microsoft Teams, we just need to open up a web browser such as Google Chrome or Microsoft Edge. You can also download the app from the Microsoft Store. Uh, where you'll be able to access a bit more functionality, but in general, as a student, using the web browser is best, just in case you have brothers and sisters equally using the same PC uh, and you don't want to get confused of who's using what. So if we just open up a web browser. So first thing we need to do is get onto Teams. So if we type in teams.microsoft.com, that will take us to a login page. And so hopefully by now your teachers or your school has given you the login. Um, so this is normally an email address and the password could be the same as the one that you use currently when you log into your computers at school, but it may not be, it just depends on the setup. So I'm just gonna sign in here. It was presented with this screen, and um, this is up to you clicking yes or no. Again, if you've got brothers and sisters using the same computer, you may want to click no. Okay, and that's brought me into my classes. So if you look here, these are all of the classes that you've been put into. Uh, of course, within every school, you'll have different names of classes, but they should relate to what's on your timetable. Equally, you may be in intervention groups or other groups within the school, and they'll be listed here as well. As you can see, there's a difference between MBA maths and CL maths. You can see that the CL maths and all the other ones actually have got uh, been put into bold. Um, so they're bold, and so that means basically that there's some activity happening, you need to go in and check. So we'll start off just going around Teams. So if I look at my activity bar here, um, this will give you all your new notifications, okay? So if a teacher has replied to a message, if there's a new video to be watching, uh, if there's a new lesson, a new assignment, it will pop up in here, okay? The chat function, Depends on whether you're allowed to have chats within your school or not. But again, you can use this function to chat with the teacher and chat with your, your friends. Teams, and this is where we'll start a lot of our um, work now. So if I go into my team section, I can easily go backwards and forwards into the teams by clicking on the teams and simply clicking on that button, all teams, and that will take me back to this. Um, screen. So I'm going to go into my English class. Okay, and I can see in here uh, all of the chat that's happening within this class. If the teachers put any files, if they put a recording of the lesson, if it's a lesson that you uh, needed to join, it will all be in here and it will give you the news, as it were, of, of, of that class. Your teacher may have other channels underneath here, but it depends on the school and your teacher and the lessons that you're doing. So if we go across the top here, we've got posts, and that's what we've just explained. Files, so in some cases and at some schools, you may have your own folder within here that only you and the teacher can see. Uh, so you'll see I've got a test student uh, folder there that me and the teacher can see. And also the class materials that the teacher may well have put in there for the lessons. I've got my class notebook. So this is just like a ring binder, uh, but actually online. So again, only you and your teacher can see your own uh, class notebook. And you'll see here, it's a bit of a, uh, an introduction from, from Microsoft on, on how to use it. Um, but if I want to go to all my other workbooks, Again, I can add notes, do homework, have a look at handouts and so on, just from here. But again, this is quite easy 
to use and just use it like a notebook, but only in the cloud. I can see assignments that teachers have uh, assigned to me. And I can actually, I can also get to that from here. So if there's any new assignments, it will pop in here. And now I've got all my assignments that I've been assigned by the teacher and all my completed ones as well. As you can see, I've not completed any yet. And then there's the rules of the class. Again, depending on the school, they may or may not have this tab. But again, in a lot of schools, they just put the rules of the class. So you, can you use emojis in the chat, speaking in English and, and all those sort of things. But again, depends on the school and depends on your own environment. So I can also look at my assignments here. And then I can choose which class that I want to have a look at my assignments for. And as you can see, I've got two assignments. One is a new story and one is about Macbeth. So if I click on this one here, you can tell the due date, but we'll click on it here. It will give a subject, it will give some instructions. So this is around creating a new story about how we're using technology to deliver education. It will give some work set out by the teacher. So that may be a video to YouTube. It may well be um, uh, resources or references for you. Um, and you can also add work here as well. So what I'm gonna do is just click on add work. So if I was writing a new story, I could add a bit of work from my OneDrive. I could also create a new file. So by creating a new file, put it in Word. My new story. You can click on attach. And then you can edit this document as well from here as well. So if I click on the button there, I can now edit this new story and then hand it into my teacher. So once I'm comfortable that I've done the work and I'm happy with it, um, I can then hand in that work to the teacher by clicking the hand in button there. And when I click hand in, okay, it's going to go and notify the teacher that I've handed in my work. You can also chat to the teacher. So if you go into your team and you want to ask the teacher a question, uh, when is something due in or any lessons that you may ask within a normal classroom environment, if you click on the posts button here, I'll be able to chat and also be able to see my other students as well, potentially chatting to the teacher, adding stuff to, to the, the post area. To simply chat with the teacher, you put in that symbol and then you find the teacher that you want. So I'm gonna to go to that test teacher. in okay and my teacher will then get notified that they've had a message come up onto the screen so for example that teacher would then reply to your message uh, and if we give that teacher a couple of moments to reply okay that teacher's replied, but you'll notice that there, my activity has popped up, okay? It went away quite quickly there because I was actually in the, in the chat. But again, you'll see that that teacher has replied. So it's always good to have a look in this activity feed. Okay, so we've gone through a real whistle-stop tour of Microsoft Teams and how you may be using it. Each individual school is gonna have their own way of using it. So please watch out for your, for your teacher's messages and your school's messages around that. So I hope that whistle stop tour of Teams has really helped you out, getting you to understand uh, how you can use Teams when you're learning from home. If you've got any questions, please give us a shout on our website. Those details will follow. If not, enjoy learning with Teams. Take care. Bye.